Welcome to our YouTube channel Easy Tech Support and today we'll be talking about how to make precipitation animation in Google Earth Engine. So Google Earth Engine has lots of our data sets collected from various sources, various satellite and these data sets can then be utilized to do various analysis related to the Earth. So we can also do the precipitation analysis. So precipitation is all about the rainfall and we will be talking about how to produce this precipitation animation in the Google Earth Engine itself. So here you can see in this window, in this, in this map window, this is a code window and this is a map window. So we have here, this is the rectangle box and you can see here, it, uh, I have defined the geometry imports. Uh, so I have defined the title location. It's about what title I want to give. And this second one is the, about the region. How much region I would love to display. And third one would be all about the gradient label location. And the fourth one would be the date location and the gradient location. So if you want to play around, I'll be providing you this code and also will be providing you the blog post with the code in our own website tech guru guides so uh, by playing around these various features like you can play around this region so similarly how i want to display the title location i can move around suppose here i have i am going to uh, showcase the himanchal pradesh rainfall data set and animation within this month of July. So you can see that on 8th and 9th, the Himanchal Pradesh received quite huge amount of rainfall. So if I want to change this region to somewhere else, maybe in, in Nepal, as you can see the Kosi region also received, is also flooded uh, during the June 19th. So I can move around to the Kosi region and make my area of interest here so you can play around uh, this quite a bit and uh, similarly you can go to the pakistan so you can map the pakistan flood of 2022 so let's get deeper now i want to select uh, the particular himanchal pradesh so it can be imported from fao gaul data can be imported here and this Gaul data is of a feature collection type and with the filtering this is the administrative zero name is India and filter administration one name would be the Himanchal Pradesh. So through this code uh, and the API we can see that I have defined the region of interest that has collected the data for Himanchal Pradesh. So by running this code I can easily I can go to the feature location of the Himanchal Pradesh itself. So if I turn off this here in the map section, you can see in the layer here is the Himanchal Pradesh. Okay. After selecting the feature say file of the Himanchal Pradesh, I will also be defining the collection of a data data set that I want to use for generating the animation. So it would be the immersed data. It is actually integrated multi-satellite retrievals for GPM, global precipitation measurement version 6. So that is of the type image collection. And from that image collection, I will be selecting the particular date and time. So here, here are my, uh, my interest uh, time frame would be 2023. 0708 July 8 and from the time 12 12 in the uh, in the morning and here I have also selected the precipitation calculation that precipitation calc so I can also see by typing here in the data set I can see the various properties related to GPM. This is global precipitation measurement. You can go uh, through the details to know more about the GPM data set. So I have uh, assigned one variable called collection 
which will be collecting the emerge data set for the date and the band selected so from this now we will go further to the step 2 step 2 will be all talking all about visualization parameters so here we can see i have defined various visualization parameters this will be some of the libraries that need to be called here so i'll be using the gina package style and also i will be using the gina package text and this code line uh, this uh, this snippet will be uh, centering the region of interest and I will be defining the color palette here I have defined the color palette uh, you can see here that uh, various colors like navy blue dark blue has been defined and I will be also defining the RGB visualization parameters here the visualization parameters the minimum of value that would be available in the precipitation calc data here uh, would be 1 and maximum is 50 uh, as I have defined here and palette would be already defined palette here so you can adjust this upper value as for your region of interest and the amount of pre precipitation that uh, that location received at that uh, at that point of a time so after defining the RGB visualization I will be applying this RGB visualization to each image and also making animation frames. So I will be defining, I will be defining this, uh, I will be mapping each of the images through the function and here I have defined this function and here the first line will be defining the scale. So this scale will depend upon uh, this one, uh, the scale that I have defined for centering to region of interest so this will be helping me later on so first i will be defining the title uh, the title would be himanchal pradesh of uh, you can change it otherwise like whatever you, uh, region that you have selected or whatever title you want to give to your project so after defining the label title i will be defining the title text and this will be of um, this will be the text uh, as i have defined here the object uh, will be of the text type and it will be drawing um, this uh, this function so will be taking the label title and title location and here it is as we have defined the scale over here the scale uh, uh, scale multiplied by two so it uh, it would be depending upon the region that you have taken and the scale that you have defined earlier and it's all about the heat and trial and the title of the himanchal process font size would be 32 Similarly, I will be defining the date here and the format that I want to display would be uh, would be defined here in this line. And the date location would be shown and the scale and the font size will be given. And it's uh, let's talk about the gradient bar. It's about the legend box. Uh, so once I will showcase the result, then it would be more clearer. Uh, so these are uh, this is the gradient bar and the properties as defined below. So minimum would be zero and maximum will be 50. And the palette is also defined here. The levels are defined. Levels as we have defined here. Levels would be the sequence type and it will start from zero and to 50, the step would be 10. So let's go to the text label. So I will also love to give the text to the gradient bar so my gradient bar text would be precipitations mm per hour and i define all the required uh, required parameters so finally this function this a function image that uh, would be applying rgb visualization to each image and making the animation frame would return us image which will visualize with the visual which parameters is defined and uh, this i want to just uh, focus on the region of interest so I will be clipping and this this will be title text will be blended as for the animation frame and similarly the date label gradient bar text gradient all would be blended to the animation animation frame so finally let us define the uh, GIF visualization argument uh, so we'll be defining the video parameters so i'll be giving the region it it, it would be important uh, to define the boundary uh, so it can limit the processing 
states and so on so i'll be also giving the dimension it can be any uh, anywhere from 300 meter or, or less also so it will be depending upon uh, your area uh, the area area and also the time so uh, usually there is some limitations with the google earth engine about the processing that would be uh, that would be assigned to uh, to your user id so it is recommended to use the lesser dimension so it it would be run within uh, within the allocated resources to you so the third step would be all about the output and the download so the first line would be giving us the gif url uh, so i i will display the url later on here and the th uh, this line would be defining the render gif animation and we can see the result over here uh, i'll be showcasing and this uh, this code snippet will be uh, downloading this video to us so here i have defined the folder called ge in my google drive so it can be changeable as per the defined folder name in your google drive so collection would be rgb visualization is uh, is defined here uh, you can see here and this would be defined here it is the collections that we want to download and the dimensions is similar to the video parameters dimensions is defined earlier and similarly frames per second is also 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 defined as per the video parameters and crs and regions should be defined so we will be now be processing our result uh, so to process our result let me just check uh, these boxes it is not required but as i have uh, played around a bit while i was giving you uh, some lecture here so let me just uh, confirm that everything is in the right position so i want to uh, capture this region so it would be my title location so i can play around later on also so this would be the gradient label and this would be the date title so now let me just run the code so you can see here it is running in the background okay it will take some take some time so okay so it is now displaying h per defined map layer over here at the scale of 8 so this code you just play around this code that i will be providing you in the youtube description below as well so we can see our result here as uh, this is inverted upside down this is all because uh, i have to play a bit with the location as it was not able to blend correctly because sometimes uh, the text would be uh, disturbing the frame so it will be uh, a hit and trial so if you if you can see here the url you can uh, click here to see the display over the new tab so, oh see this is now correctly displayed in the url so you can see the himanchal pradesh the title and this is the himanchal pradesh and here we can see with the time frame it is uh, it is changing so this is representing various precipitation as per the time at particular location so this is the gradient bar uh, so here you can see the gradient bar has been stressed from 0 to 50 uh, mm per hour so this is how we will be displaying our result and uh, you can see in this and the three tabs over here this is inspector uh, this is control and this is task when you click on the task you can see that your animation video that you want to download in a google drive uh, can be drawn from here so if you if you click on the run then this uh, this dialog box will appear and you can change here the animation uh, the the task name i have already defined it in the code as well but you can change from here okay so one tip would be that you uh, just uh, showcase your video dimension uh, in lower version so that it can correctly uh, it can correctly be displayed uh, while you are running the code but if you want to uh, download it in the higher version then you can change it from here okay 
so you can also change the frames per second if you want to make it a bit faster then you can go for five uh, five frames per second and similarly uh, you can change it to two as well so this will be my drive and i want to give my animation name is maybe animation for himanchal animation from himanchal himanchal so if i run this code then the process that would be uh, going to download these animations is displayed here in my google drive and from that google drive then you can say obviously share uh, with your friends and also you can use that for your research so this is how it is done you can always text me in the comment section so i can further guide you if you encounter some problem so keep uh, keep tuning so we'll i'll be signing off now thank you